What's up guys, this is Clutch, or if you guys want to call me by my real name, which would be Joel, whatever floats your boat. Anyways, this is the Dazzle tutorial video that um, a lot of you guys have been waiting for, and I promised to put out at 700 subscribers, and I hit that mark today, and I'd just like to say thank you first off. Alright, so let's just get into it. So you're going to want to open up your Pinnacle Studios 12. And these are the settings I use to capture. So you're going to want to click over here to your video input settings. I record an S video, so I have this clicked. I have it checked right here. If you have a composite, then click composite. But S video will give you a lot better quality. All right, so for these settings, leave them, leave them all default, except the sharpness. You're going to want, want to turn this all the way down. All right. You click user defined quality and then click settings so capture source of course dazzle dvc 100 no auto scene detection um, turn capture preview off it takes out some of the some of the lag in your videos and some um, screen it could drop some frames if you have it clicked um, NTSC and 16 by 9 aspect ratio for capture format you're going to want to use AVI and then click custom compression DV width 720 by 480 and 3600 kilobytes per second um, include audio this is this stuff is default and sample rate you're gonna want to put it the highest 48 kilohertz project preferences take all of these editing environments and uncheck them click um, use this format for new projects NTSC widescreen right here um, and you can just leave all of that the same video audio and preferences enable hardware acceleration main VGA monitor none um, this stuff is pretty much basic and you're gonna want to set codec automatically all right so for your audio just make sure you have it turned on so you'll record your audio Alright, so once you have captured your AVI file from Pinnacle Studios 12, you're going to want to open up Virtual Dub, which um, is a program that I use for deinterlacing my videos so you don't see those ugly horizontal lines. I'll put a link to download this for free in the description if you need it. Alright, so you're going to File Open Video File, and then let's just see. I'll just upload, uh, just take this video out. Raya, uh, no scope, rise, true, and uh, search and destroy, pretty sick. But um, all right, let's see a good place to show you. All right, if you see, you can, if you look closely, you can see all these horizontal lines on the picture, and we don't want that. We want it to look as smooth as possible. So we're going to go to video, filters, add, and then click deinterlace. So as you can see on the, the screen to the right, which is our, our new quality, it has none of these ugly horizontal lines and it looks very clean and smooth. Alright, so after you, have, you, after you have that, you're going to click File, Save as AVI, and then save it wherever you want. Maybe type in um, D interlaced so you know that's the one that you want the most. I right, think click save and then it'll render out. So to make it go a little faster, you can click processing thread pipe priority and then put it all the way to highest so it'll go a little faster. All right. So once that's done, then you're going to open up your Sony Vegas Pro. For this, um, this is where you render your videos as I'm sure you guys know. So to start off, click Project Video Properties, clicking right here. Alright, so these are the settings you want. Um, I'll just give you guys a couple seconds to just look at this and pause the video if you need it to just copy these settings down. Alright, so those are the video settings, these are the audio settings.
these are the ruler settings. I'm pretty sure the, these, um, the rest of these are just um, default. Yeah. So the only two you have to mess with is video and audio. So for video for the template, just scroll down and click HDV 72030, 1280 by 720, and 29.970 frames per second. Then start all new projects with these settings, apply, and hit OK. All right, so now you're going to open up um, your new video file, whatever you want to render out with um, my settings. So find out where you saved it. All right, I haven't deinterlaced this one yet, so it'll show all the ugly lines and stuff like that, but just disregard that. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is go to right click on the video and click properties, um, uncheck maintain aspect ratio, and then click disable resample. It'll help get rid of some of the black bars on the, on the sides of the video. From there, um, you can pan crop if you need to. I have a uh, little template right there that says perfect. Those are my settings. So just um, you know, fool around with with uh, how cropped in you want your video. All right. After that, you're going to want to click Video Effects. This is where you add your settings. Normally, I just add a little color corrector. Um, Studio RGB to computer RGB kind of pops the colors out a little bit and makes the darkers darker and the brighters brighter. So you could fool around with that and um, the color corrector secondary, whatever you, whatever you think is best for your video. Some things look better on different maps. And then the last thing I add is sharpen. And just drag that on your video. You're going to want to add .050. It doesn't add a lot, but it makes them, it just makes it look a little better in my opinion. Um, these um, video effects settings are really up to you. It's whatever you want your video to look like, but usually I just add sharpen and then a small color correction. So once you're done with that, you're going to want to render as. And these are my settings. So for file type, save it as Windows Media Video V11 WMV. And for the template, click 6 Mbps HD 72030p Video 5.1 Surround and then click custom. These are the most important part of the, these um, these settings. It's how the settings you render it in. So mode CBR, format Windows Media Audio 9.2, attributes 192 kbps 48 kilohertz stereo AV CBR, which is all the way at the bottom right there. For video, Mode CBR format Windows Media Video 9 image size high definition 1280 by 720 and this will give you the 720p option when you upload your videos to YouTube. Pixel aspect ratio 1.000 square. Frame rate is 29.970 which is NTSC default. Um, seconds per keyframe 5 and override 3. Video sharpness, move this all the way to um, 100. Bit rate, click Internet LAN and 8M. Index summary, there's nothing to do there. And project, set it as best. All right, that's pretty much it. So after that, just click Save, and um, your video will render out. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope it helps you a lot. Um, I worked really hard on figuring out these settings, and what really works best for YouTube and the Dazzle. So um, if, you, if these settings helped you, I'd really appreciate it if you guys maybe commented on it or liked the video. It really does help me a lot and doesn't take out too much of your time. So um, for that, I'd just like to say thanks for watching and peace. Search and destroy. Destroy the objective. Bomb acquired.